Hi everyone, it's Wednesday the 23rd of June and it's 8.30 in the evening. And in this video I've got a bit of a model railway update for you. So, a couple of months ago I was on eBay and I bought a couple of uh, small job lots of rolling stock. There was two job lots and they both had a mix of locomotives and coaches and a few other little bits. Um, I've got uh, three of the locomotives working. I keep thinking there was another one. I know there was a clockwork one. Oh yeah, that was it. The um, other one didn't work. The um, motor had burnt out in it. So, um, yeah. That was actually a little dock shunter, which I don't think I've bought in here. It could still be in the lounge. Anywho. I've got some of it out here on the table and I've got a few other bits and bobs that I've acquired recently as well. I've just remembered there's a few other things that I haven't shown you yet as well. Anyway, I'm sitting here listening to a humming and I thought it was the fluorescent light but it's not. It's my uh, duet controller over here. It's got a bit of a transformer hum. So, I can't see what the heck I'm doing. There we go. So, in one of the job lots, was this class 33 in the Network Southeast Livery. Um, and that was actually the main reason I wanted that job lot, because I already had these four coaches in said livery. So, is it livery or livery? I prefer livery, to be honest. <laughs> anyway. So that's why I got that one. That literally just needed the wheels all cleaned up and it's it runs, it's rather noisy, but it does run. Uh, a dog shunter was another one, like I said, was dead. Now we've got this one which doesn't run very well because it's an old triang, so it doesn't really fit on the track. I'd need to um, sit this upside down in a cradle, run the wheels and just take a grinder to the flanges just to shrink them a bit. That's what I did to my other dock shunter actually to get it to run on this track. Still needs a smidge of a tune up on it for the wheels but it is possible. And this was the other one, another 08 shunter. Um, this had a shorting issue but it was ever so simple to fix. And I only saw it by chance because I had it upside down like this with the body off obviously. And then I suddenly noticed that Behind these wheels here, where your two little pickups are, your brushes, there's a couple of them, um, were a couple of track pins down there, shorting these wheels out against the chassis. Well, you don't want these ones short out against the chassis, do you? Because then that shorts these with these wheels when you've got dead short. So that soon fixed that. It runs slow around the track. I don't know if that's by design because it is. You know, a shunter, and you don't really want shunters racing around the track. I don't know if that's been done deliberately. Um, but it runs fine, actually, apart from just being slow. Go back to bed. That's a good boy. <laughs> um, I can show you... Oh, this was in one of them as well. I actually thought it was a coach when I was looking at the job lot, but it's not. It is the uh, dummy end for a DMU. Um, and the ridiculous thing is, I saw a job lot from the same seller that had the other one of these in. And I didn't think to get it because I thought it was a green coach. Um, so Peter couldn't find out who actually bought that other job lot and send that to him. So he's got both ends. Never mind. <clears throat> um, I think I've got about four coaches in total. Something like that. I've got this one. It will go around the track, but it's a bit noisy because it's an old triang, so it doesn't like the wheels. It's a problem. Old triang stuff tends to not like it. Here's another triang. Old Pullman. That does actually go around the track. Again, a bit noisy. And there's this one, which actually looks quite new. It's a Lima corridor coach. I quite like that. Okay. 
and I'm not going to show you the other bits of... Well, actually I can. It's not that interesting. If I can remember what other little bits of rolling stock it was, I will show you. It was that. I can that was that as well, yeah. Oh yeah, and that one. There was more than this, but the rest of it were just trucks and ordinary stock. So I've got this hopper wagon. Another yellow shell um, tanker. Polo mint one. I think they were the most interesting ones there, to be honest. Like I said, the rest were just little trucks and brake vans and things, which I've got shed loads of anyway. <sighs> I'm not going to set that going yet, because that's noisy and I'll have to shout over that. Anywho, also related to model railways, um, uh, the buses, because they are 176 scale, believe it or not. I don't know how well that would show up, but yep. Um, I found them in the charity shop. One of the local charity shops has uh, had quite a huge donation of model buses and vans and things. And uh, I have bought quite a few of them. Not just the buses, I've bought a few of the other vans and things they had. But uh, these are Corgi. 176. Uh, double deckers. I don't know how modern these ones are. I've got three of them. Two of these I keep up on the shelf. This City Flyer, which I'm guessing is either Chinese, possibly Chinese, Japanese, is Asian. I can tell from the writing on the side of it there, up in this corner. It's got some, some uh, Asian characters there. I don't know a great deal about them. We've got this one. Which is the city bus. So I've got a selection I could put on here when I've got all this done. I'm going to talk more about the actual layout in a minute as well. But yeah, these two corgis I keep up on the shelf, so now that I've shown you them, I will put them back up here out of the way. They're actually the only Yeah, they're the only three um, 176 corgi buses I've got up there. Or two I should say, because here's the other one. This one's more of a celebration, one for Superbus, 25 years of moving the nation. No idea where that's from, I don't think it's British. Uh, Singapore Bus Services. Although aren't Singapore, don't they drive on the uh, right hand side of the road, not the left? So shouldn't these doors be on this side? I could be wrong. <laughs> uh, just a thought though. <laughs> Right. Can't remember the uh that's an Alexander Y type this one. A little single deck. Buying these has actually got me uh, interested in buying other buses, particularly these ones. These are single deck of that era, I think they're sixties from the look of it, maybe seventies. No idea, I know shit all about buses. <laughs> I just know they go forwards and backwards and carry lots of people. Here's a smaller one. Green line. This was actually part of a box set. And I've kept the box for this one. Some of them I've got rid of the boxes because they just ticked me off. So there's the single deck for the green line service. And that. Some AEC as well. Ah, oh, I can't read what it says. It's something class bus. I can't read the class though. And the other one that was in that box set was the uh, little double decker. And that. I guess it's like an RT, RTL bus slash RTL bus. Got like an orangey tan sort of interior. Brown, could be, I don't know. And then, got these two. And the green one is a Leyland PD2. I think the other one was a PD1. Yep. 
And that one is West Riding. Not that place names matter on my layout. And this one leads something or other. Samuel Ledgard, I think that says. And that's the Leyland PD1. I've no idea what the difference is. They both look the same to me. Although, I don't know if you can see it, that one's got a wonky grill. <laughs> no, that doesn't want to go straight. For some reason that's uh, gone on a little bit on the wonk. Never mind. I think I've got some more vehicles in a box down here. Ooh, that I've not shown you. Because I've bought some new ones. That's the uh, excavator my stepdad gave me. Yeah, I've got some little 176 and got some modern ones here. I've got BMW. I can't remember where that came from. Roof bar there is actually broken. Let's see if I can fix that. Wheel escape ladder there. We've got a remote that's not meant to be in there. Um, Porsche, Mazda, something like that, not a sports car. That's my little Jag police car, isn't it? Here's a van. Little British Rail. Um, Oxford Diecast Mark 1 Transit Van I've always wondered why these cost so much but the detail on something so small is just immense they haven't missed anything I don't know if you can see it in this poor light but they've actually put the chrome around the tail lights the chrome trim that's just painted the chrome door handles on Side lights and indicators have been painted on, the headlights, the bumpers, everything. Number plate, grill, even the grill has got Ford written across it. This is the petrol version though, not the diesel. Diesels have the little pointy nose because the engines were longer. So they had to put a slightly different nose current on it. Uh, what else? I don't think there's anything new. The little Volkswagen Beetle. I don't think uh, I was showing you that one. Various sort of police vehicles. I don't think that is quite the correct scale, but let's put it in the box anyway. I think an old company called Husky make um, close to the scale for this as well. Police Range Rover. Had that for a while, and we've had. We get yeah, the rescue car, that's a fairly recent find as well. And that was another one, I bought this one locally. The uh, yellow British Rail van I bought that on eBay, this one found locally on Marketplace. Yeah. That's something I bought ages ago, the old Bedford TK British Rail truck. Uh, the old what PC Bellamy, Bellamy's it's what we used to call it when it was on my stepdad's layout it's actually got an LED wad into it to me it looks a bit daft because it looks so big on that roof box but my stepdad did that and it did look good on the layout so got a Land Rover Discovery Metropolitan Police. Ramblin's <laughs> car. Probably Mercedes. I've got a few vehicles here I can use. I've got a fire truck. It's that bright orange one hiding down here. Oh, it's one of them Mercedes. For some reason. I've got very tiny, <laughs> only fools and horses reliant. I have no idea where that came from. Oh, 
tires come off though. That's it. I keep looking on places like eBay for Oxford die cast and uh, they ain't cheap. You know, something like that is about eight quid just for that. So yeah, not cheap, but definitely worth it. I've just got to try and find one as I like. Put that back in there because I think the fire engine for that is in there as well. Alrighty then. Tuck this back under here. Right. And if you're wondering what those four coaches are over the back here, I don't know if they can be seen, we'll just yeah, there. Uh, one of those actually came with the uh, job lot I bought fairly recently. Uh, it was uh, this one. Someone's already started to uh, upgrade the wheels on, so it would run. That's why these ones are metal and the rest are plastic. It was not easy to do on these. Um, I wasn't going to do it on mine, but I just thought, nah. But I do know a chap who runs all the track who may actually appreciate those. I'm going to send those to him along with a model car that I think he might appreciate as well. <clears throat> but I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to ruin the surprise for him. So I'm not going to name him. What I'm going to say is I do moderate his Discord server and he does have a decent sized YouTube channel. <clears throat> Anywho. Plans could be changing for this. Um, I am considering putting that track bed stuff under here, and I am actually considering taking all of this up and starting the layout again with a better um, track plan because I don't like it. I don't know what, why, I just, there's something about it I don't like. Or I might just leave it as it is, I'm not sure. I wonder why this one looks slightly different to the others because it's a different brand, it's a Lima. The other ones are Hornby. Looking a little bit worse for wear for themselves, but... I love that far corner. I'll keep quiet when it next goes round. And it, to me, it sounds just like a real locomotive going click and clack over those points and whatnot. So we'll just go silent. I hope that came up in the camera. <laughs> I really do like that. It's like an unintentional sound effect. Oop. If I put this one on this track. And I'll turn the power all the way up for that. Let's see how slow it is. Let's go the other way with it. That is power full blast. I mean, it's not ridiculously slow. It's not unusably slow. But my other 08s go a lot faster than that. But uh, I don't know if it's been made intentionally like that or if someone's modified it. I can still hear it sparking, so there's still an arc there somewhere. Or it could just be the wheels. Whee! Fun fact though, that 08 is the only fully detailed one I've got. The others are all fairly plain. As in, that one's got the... Uh, Black and yellow markings front and back, it's got the yellow conrod, it's got the painted ladders on the front. My other ones don't have anything like that on it. What I'm actually 
letting that run, isn't it? We have that sped up a little bit. Trying to get hot I'm thinking, do I really want to pull this lot up now? Because it is working fine, technically. Maybe I've just been too nitpicky about things. Oh yeah, that way is smelling a bit warm. Let's give that a run around the other way, shall we? That's off and that's still vibrating. It's not hot though. I know, I'm in the way. I do apologise, there we go. It's hard to get a decent angle in this room. I need to find some coupling hooks for that class 33, and they're both missing. I thought I had some, but the two I've got won't fit. Just the hook bits. See, it's got the, the bar there, but the hooks are missing. That 08 has actually lapped the class of the three. It's actually going quite fast now that I've ran it. Maybe it just needed a run then. I'll stop that. We'll have, we'll have a bit of an experiment. We'll see how well that one goes through the cross section. Definitely in the right direction. That might be a bit fast for it. Let's go in through fine at the end of jump. I'm actually surprised at that. I thought I was going to uh, skip. Because of its age, this is a new track. That's a very old... Uh, Pullman. Just bring that one a bit straight. I'm not a very good driver. <laughs> I'll try to keep out of the way of the camera so you can see it. Use their, the hooks when they the one bits that move up and down are a bit stiff on that one. But I don't think I'm going to have issues with that one. No, that one's going around fine as well. That's good then. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to let it run into it and see what happens. Oh. <laughs> you try it the other way then. Considering this has been packed away for a good three or four months, and literally all I've done is laid it down and gone around it with a track rubber. Oh, that derailed it. Hmm, I didn't like going uh, through it the other way. At least I didn't like being... Uh... I can put modern wheels on this one though. In fact, we could probably do that right now on the video. This is actually getting in the way, hang on. Let's go park him over the other side. straight. Right, so what we've got to do with these ones. This is why these ones are actually easier than the old triangle ones. 
I've got to do. I may not be able to do it without a little stick or something. That's it. Should pop out. I've got one stuck. There we go. So you've got these little spikes on the end of the wheels. They just sit in a little indents in here. The old triangle ones don't work like that. So, unfortunately, they're not as easy to change. Now I've got to find some wheels. I've got a mix here. I've got a mix of what I've got from my stepdad when he was clearing out and a mix of what I bought on eBay. But ideally, I want, you know, four of these that are actually the same. I've got three there, that the same. That is the try. Got three of those. Plenty of plastic wheels in here, and I have no idea why I've kept those. Because I don't like plastic wheels. All I'm doing now. Let's just try and pop this in here. Got one end in. Got the other end in. It's as easy as that. Oh, they spin a lot better. That's why I don't like the plastic ones. Obviously being plastic, if it's had a lot of use, it's got a lot of wear on them and they tend to not to spin very well. That might be a bit of an issue. Can't get that one. One's gone in fine. That one seems to be too narrow. Uh, these aren't ones that you can separate and gauge. Ah. Those two have gone in. I might have to try and find some different wheels. So it looks like I've got some with wider gauging. And others maybe. Or maybe the um, pointy part of that wheel is a bit iffy. I really need to get you know back into doing this and actually doing some modelling with it, or you know, instead of buying rolling stock. All I seem to do is buy rolling stock. I haven't done much in the way of uh, building anything. Get in there, you bitch. There we go. Nope, that wheel has dropped. No, nope, that one really is not going to go in. I think it is just that one, because all the others have gone in. No, oh, that's another one that seems to be a bit too short. Give that test run then, both directions. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it around this way again. No, I'm not, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> uh, should we try that again? Try the um, coupler on the other end. That's got it. Oh, 
will it now go through there without skipping off it this time? Sounds a lot smoother as well. out really to uh, run around the track. Let's see how well this little thing is going to run. Oh no, it's not going to run very well is it? I'll put two uh, sort of flanges out on them wheels. Is there anything in the top here that I can grab? Now well, the one's died again. But I have got connection issues with the other one, so. Are you going to behave? Of course it is. It's this one I've got trouble with. I've just got a connection issue, but I can't remember what it was. But perhaps not. And I just suddenly decided it might have worked until it got to the corner. One of my favourites, the 37. I wouldn't mind one in, um, or a couple in different liveries though. So I've got two in VR green. I think the one going around the track is a horn in the end, this one's a... See it on the face here, but I'm pretty certain this one's a lima. It's been so long, I forgot how nice it was just to watch it just go around the track. Hear it making that rumbling noise. I don't know how she come off the track. That was the front bogey that come off the track. How did you come off the track? Oh, sugar. See if this one's going to work. This is a Backman and it's got the uh, awful chassis construction. Is it going to work? No. Nope. But this one does have some time. Sometimes it'll work and sometimes it won't. What's most likely to do with it? chassis because it uses the chassis as the conductor with the motor and whatnot blah blah 
No, that one doesn't want to... Oh, I've got the torch going that way. Oh. Got a bit of a wobble, can you see that? Yeah, I don't think that runs right, that's um, full speed. Slow static. <laughs> yeah. It's not the best. I can't actually use it because it hasn't got any couplers on it. <laughs> I think I might have to that. Now is that one gonna go around the track? Whee! Oh! I just threw a big spark off the front. These locos are not like. Just try that one again. Behave and stay on the track. Well done. I was hoping I could send one round the track while I try and find the other one, but this one's not playing ball for some reason. Uh, wait. Let's turn the power off first. There we go. That's another slow one. You went through that crossroad. Told you I'd fall. <laughs> That's not BR green, is it? That one then first. It was BR blue. What an idiot. I just realised. That's BR green. That's BR green. They're BR blue. Dumb dumb. I can't remember if all of mine worked or if one of these had an issue. That one works though. Do you work? Well, they do all work. Yeah. Holy crap, that one's going out of the track quite quick. <laughs> So why is it all three, or three of them, go through that crossing and this one doesn't? I'm going to get people yelling at me in the comments now because I've got the colours wrong. BR blue, that's BR green. No idea why I called those green in the first place. Let's try you that way, shall we? That one, I think, has got a bit of a wobble. That might be why. Either that or the gauging is off for the wheels. Flanges, maybe? Don't know who actually made this one. And that's quite an old one, though. So it's got the screw on couplers. Um, could be the flanges, I don't know. I definitely, definitely do not need any more uh, 08s. Wait a minute. This one's got ladders added. They've been left black, they haven't been painted. And this one hasn't got the uh, bumblebee markings on it either. Uh, that one's got a yellow nose. D3035. I 
this one look completely different. These two. These two are a lot newer as well. Could be why. Anyway, I'm just rambling there, so I think I'll shut the video down here. I've got school here as well. Believe it or not, that was the only building my stepdad could sell. <laughs> and gave it to me. Because um, most of the buildings he had, I either didn't want in my little village, or they were the low profile type that needed to sit up against a wall, and I haven't got a wall for them to sit on. But uh, yeah, the little school here was the only one he couldn't sell. It didn't sell for some reason. So, uh, and that's cool. No idea where I'm going to put it, but. Right. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will uh, talk to you again in the next one. Bye.